This is the second time I'll be recording this because I forgot to turn on my mic and that's a bit annoying. And also, sorry for the extra background noise, I have my fan on because it's quite hot here. 25 degrees. It's actually quite cooler than it was before. It was like 33 degrees yesterday, but yeah. Anyway, so let's jump straight in, I guess. Hi guys, today I'm going to be giving an insight about Plutosphere and what it is, uh, what's special about it, what you'll get if you get in. So Pluto Plutosphere is PC is a PCVR for your Oculus Quest devices. It's for now only Oculus Quest, I believe, and it lets you play high-end PC VR games without needing a computer. Um, here is it's a PC VR streaming service. It connects to the cloud. Um, uh, right now, it only supports the Oculus Quest, as I said, and PC, kind of, which I'll go into later. Um, the requirements would be uh, 50 megabits of internet, and one of the two of these things. Uh, it says in one thing, but I haven't got a Wi-Fi six. Uh, Wi-Fi, but I'm running Plutosphere quite fine, so really depends on your Wi-Fi. Uh, this is the one you want a Wi-Fi with 5GZ or Wi-Fi 6, but you'll get probably the best experience if you have both of them. However, I'm having a decent experience. Um, Plutosphere currently is free, and it's a sign-up, so it has a waiting list, quite a big one, I believe, but it's chosen randomly, so uh, if you sign up now, you have a higher chance of getting it than someone who hasn't signed up. And uh, if you haven't signed up already, this will be giving you an insight of what Plutosphere is. Uh, not what it is, I mean, um, what you'll get out of it. And if you have signed up, what you're signing up for. Uh, as you can see here, it's partnered with Nevada and Desktop Vision, which if you see here, I'll get onto later. later. <coughs> Here is a little insight on what's their purposes, and you can go look at it um, yourself. I will put this link into the description so you can see later. Once you've signed up for Plutosphere, you will get a confirmation email um, early on, and um, eventually you should get a little survey, and it'll just be for you telling um, uh, the people of Plutosphere a bit about yourself and what you have, so mainly about your Wi-Fi, um, <coughs> what you get out of it through uh, testing it with a certain cloud ping thingy, um, if you have an Oculus Quest and all, and see if you'd be suitable and worth, I shouldn't say worth, everyone's worth something, but you know what I mean. Um, eventually, if you are a lucky one, and they're doing quite a few invites per day as such, uh, you'll become a selected user. Um, as you see, we have determined that you'd be a great fit. Uh, Plutosphere will allow you to play PC VR. Um, you will need to create a Pluto account. Uh, you don't have to do it now if you don't want. You can do it if you get in. Uh, you also need side quests to side load some sort of things, which I'll go into later. And it'll be important uh, to join their Discord server as um, Information will be relayed from there, and after that, you'll need to do this questionnaire, which will uh, give you your uh, slot items. Uh, I um, not items, a slot for when you'll get your Plutosphere. It's a loose timing thing, but it gives you a certain date where you'll get your um, actual server as such, Plutosphere PC, which I'll also go on about later. Um, you will need to ignore this bit. Uh, do not create a desktop vision account <coughs> uh, because they'll need that later to create a separate one for you guys if you get in. <coughs> uh, you have the Discord here, it gives you a little bit of information. Um, when your time has come, my time has come. Eventually, you'll get your Pluto PC. Um, you'll get the information logged to it, and at first you'll need to do it via desktop vision, 
and since they're partnered with them, it's also an early service and this will allow you to um, install some things like uh, Discord, anything else that you'd like to install. You will then need, personally, I would then at this point, when you get here, install Parsec as while well, Desktop Vision is useful and they practically host the thing, um, Parsec will allow you to remotely stream to your polluted sphere PC with a let's say higher like rate I don't know how to say it but it's a bit faster and they'll let you do a bit more and they will allow you to play uh, flat screen games on your Bluetooth sphere PC and yeah it lets you connect to it and it's a bit easier to connecting as you just need to uh, get on make sure your Bluetooth PC is running through the special um, site slash app and then you're more or less set to start doing it. We're going to now look at specs for the uh, PC. Um, as you can see here from the Steam performance, it is near the top of completely ready. It is ready, I meant. And um, these are the specs. Windows 10, uh, GPU is ready, CPU is PCVR ready. Um, quite nice. Um, and then th here's a bit more device spec uh, specifications uh, I, I didn't think this is actually a good thing cause I'm showing this so I'll remove that later um, here is the Windows Server it's uh, as I said it's a cloud thingy so it's uh, Windows Server 2019 um, running it so it should run good but it mainly depends on your Wi-Fi when you're actually playing on uh, VR and actually on just Parsec and desktop there are two ways to do it to actually stream there is I'll go on part uh, way two first and this is via virtual desktop latency will be an issue or well, is a not an issue shall I say but something you need to overcome as it highly affects the thing so if you are going to be using a virtual desktop for um, the stream and actually play then I recommend the h.264 codec as that has the least amount of latency and um, there'll be a few more settings you'll need to do in the virtual desktop streamer. But from a, uh, virtual desktop is a paid uh, option. It's around fifteen pounds, uh, GPD pounds, since I'm from the UK. Um, I can't be bothered to change it. Sorry, guys, <laughs> to anything else. Uh, I think it's like seventeen dollars. I don't know. Depends uh, exchange rates. Um, yes, and. Um, Virtual desktop will let you use uh, microphone, uh, and uh, the quality is much better when it comes to graphics. Uh, since, but that's at the cost of latency, as virtual desktop uh, puts quality over over latency, which means it focuses on getting the best quality, which can have an impact on latency quite highly if you're not using the right codec. If the other way you can stream to your Polluted Sphere PC is via their own special um, casting kind of thing, uh, connector. Um, it's a private thing, you only get access to it if you've been let into Polluted Sphere. So if I search up here, it won't come up. Uh, there will be a special link to it. First of all, this is free, you don't need virtual desktop. It's not a paid thing. You just need SideQuest Startup, so you'll need a PC for that, I guess. But uh, that can at least run <coughs> some stuff. Um, and you need to connect your headset via wires just this one time, and that's more or less it. And then every time there's an update. Um, downsides to this one is that it's it puts. <clears throat> well, no. The upside is that it puts latency over quality, which means that this is a smoother way of playing. However, the downside to it is, uh, since it puts latency over quality, is a bit lower than it would be on a virtual desktop, so it is going to be blurrier. But it's been improving with every little update. Another downside is that currently there's no mic support, but they have said, the devs, that they'll be trying to... Um, add this feature in as well so um, so basically if your Wi-Fi isn't the best then but it can at least it's good enough then Plutosphere 
caster thing uh, would be the best option. So yeah, that is more or less everything you will need to know as such about Plutosphere. Um, this will just give you an insight if you haven't already or you have about the benefits. This is more or less a, a secondary PC you can have that can uh, be hosted via the cloud and have better specs probably than your normal PC. What definitely is better than my one. Um, oh, and I didn't, I forgot to mention about storage. You have around, uh, you have around 500 gigabytes of storage. And as you can see here, I've got my games and <coughs> I've got some, uh, VR games, but then I also have some, uh, flat screen games like Watch Dogs 2, uh, Armor Cold War Assault, that's an old game. No Man's Sky, which is a VR and uh, PC game. So yeah, that's more or less it. You can get applications like Discord. So yeah, that's more or less the important stuff. So I hope you enjoyed. Hope this has given an insight. And if you haven't already, uh, it gives you more of a thing to um, sign up. And if you have already signed up, what you're signing up for, as I said at the start. Um, Remember, this is a free, free feature. Not not free feature. Free um. Free product, I guess you could say. I think, Mark. It will be paid in the future, I believe, but it should be cheaper than Shadow, and it's probably better than Shadow. So while they have a massive waiting list, just after you've paid for them, um, this one's a waiting list, a big-ish waiting list, I believe, but at least it's free and. Uh, this uses actual, while well, Shadow uses actual PCs, this uses the cloud, which makes it somewhat better, I believe. But that's all. So thank you all for uh, watching. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe if you found this helpful or useful or anything like that. And I'll see you guys in another video. Man,